afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to your favorite show on a Tuesday, Generation C. My name is Jeanette Dierghardt, your presenter for today. Now, we will be looking at the school news, the front page of My Zone and Varsity Chat Room. Up next will be the promo video for Sports for Peace and Development, which is today, the 6th of April. jump straight into the photo of the week which is from Leandria Lowe at the coast. They were at a learner teacher learner conference of the schools at the coast talking about yes the the school newspapers. So as you can see there happy faces behind the mask and now after that we are going to go into the front page of the Zone publication. We have With a Splash of Color by Desiree Gases, one of our My Zone journalists. And we're going to talk about oh, the, the story is about Siobhan Kutsia and Dimitrio Grunewald. They have a mobile car wash. So they go out, and that cool photo right there just shows us that that was the first mobile car wash that they had. Very awesome right there, guys. And yeah, the car wash was launched on the 12th of February. So they go to where you are and they wash your car. Go read that publication. Go read the My Zone publication and see more about these young men. Okay, so in the for the weekend, we also had VAP versus Hatia S, her rugby match, which VAP was the winners of. And watch the video after, watch the video right after this to see highlights that we took. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed those highlights of the rugby. Next up, we're going to jump straight into the B, hashtag Be Free, which Marcel Stoffberg covered. So on page seven at on the Zone publication, you can have a look at it and read more about it. So this is to create a safe space for the youth at the Katatura Multipurpose Center. So that will be happening as well. So have a look at the video that we took for the highlights of that event. <laughs> reasons I am a youth worker I prefer that term. Um, the other two things about me is this is only the second time I'm wearing a suit. <laughs> it's so special the first time was my wedding and now this so this is only second to my wedding. <laughs> um, the other is I also don't read speeches. I normally just talk so this time I thought I'm going to read so that I don't miss anything if you allow me. Madam Pinkos Monica Kingos, the First Lady, and of course our Minister, thank you very much for coming to Damara Sierra. The old compound, you are most welcome. Embrace the dust because it will not last. Yeah? <laughs> very soon there will be some infrastructure that will be operation that is needed for us to move forward. And we look forward to forging strong partnerships and with those who share our values and we can cultivate and empower Namibian youth and create a safe space also for those uh, such as their parents and other frontline service providers. 
We are excited about this opportunity to harness the dynamic transformative elements of our B3. So the B3 events that we have hosted um, are each identical in its form, but different in its substance. And we're super excited to be able to bring that together, that energy, that vibrancy, into a building that, that can almost continue. So people will always say, like, when are you guys coming back? Uh, when are you going to have another B3 again? This is going to be a sustained B3 every day. <laughs> It's too ambitious. And if there's somebody who always gets told it's too ambitious, it's me. If there's somebody who always says it can be done, it's me. And I remember sharing our vision with um, the ambassador. And he said to me, give me one week. I'll get back to you. And he came back within one week. And he said to me, I found a million for you. And that was such a big confidence boost uh, for me personally and for the rest of my staff. Because to find a million during right after a recession and right during a global pandemic was not a joke and i i really thank you because i think it wasn't just the million it was the vote of confidence and it was really the trust that you put in this. related services the hashtag be free project has come at the right time and it is in time actually with our strategic priority of constructing and upgrading our multi-purpose youth centers to increase new intakes and enhance youth skills which remain vital. We recognize the importance of establishing relevant, responsive and effective programs which cater to the specific needs of adolescents and young adults. We equally remain cognizant of the significant risk, particularly concerning sexual violence, that is disproportionately experienced by our adolescent girls and young women and of the current unemployment rate. <laughs> So next up, we will be looking at the school news. So for the printed edition, we have Moshi Pandeka and Dani Ubert from the South that are printed. And online is Berg op School and Dune Side School. So go have a look at the school newspapers and what the learners has to say. So Moshi Pandeka wrote about the heir to the path of the young parliamentarian. So go have a look there. And the editor also said something. Annette Sem also gave there an editor's note. So now we're going to go see what Dani Hubert is up to. So they wrote about how Afrikaans still remains a first language at the school. So remember, Dani Hubert is in the south and Mushi Pandeka is in the north. So Dani Hubert still has Afrikaans as a first language. So you can also read more about that and also what the editor said. And they also sent us some videos. So right after this, you can have a look at what they also had to say. Hi guys, um, I'm Felicity from the editorial team of Dani Bad Combined School. Um, I'm known as the editor and today we have our top teacher at Dani Bad Combined School. So we are just going to give you guys a preview about what she's doing in our school. So I will ask her to introduce herself. I thank you. Good afternoon, I am Mrs. A. E. Titus. Um, I'm responsible for teaching geography grade 8 and 9 and also physical science grade 8. I'm also a netball coach for the under 13 and 15 uh, and many other extra curricular activities. Thank you. Me, I'm just going to ask us some quick questions about what MERS is likely doing in our school. So, what gives MERS the feeling to teach yoga? Okay, uh, well, geography for me is kind of a challenge because I have quite a lot of um, challenges that we are facing. And uh, I think that, you know, to teach geography, you, you learn a lot of stuff. Uh, you, you become familiar with your surroundings, you become familiar with your physical 
uh, features, you know, you, you do learn about maps. So it's more like an investigative and also a problem solving subject. Um, and in this subject, you can, you know, you can express your skills that you are taught um, in such a way that whenever you find yourself in a situation, that you use that knowledge as a tool for you to, to, to find out or to come to the solutions of, of a problem that you might inquire. So it's actually fun, but it's actually quite challenging also for, for learners to understand. So then, uh, what is the, let me say, what motivates them to teach geography? Well, um, I would say that, you know, when you see learners struggling with a specific topic, you as a teacher, you see to it and you go back every time. <laughs>Welcome back again. So we will go jump straight into the Varsity chat room where our colleague Desiree spoke to Wendy Chituka. She is the Development and Marketing Officer of NIMC. So if you guys want to find more about, find out more about NIMC, have a look at what they do. Listen and watch the interview with us. So have fun and we will see you guys at the interview. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another episode of Varsity Chatroom. My name is Desiree Garcis and on today's episode we're going to be interviewing Wendy from the Namibian Institute of Manufacturing and Commerce and I'm so excited. Stay tuned for more about that. So guys, like I mentioned to you before, I am joined here by the beautiful Miss Wendy from NIMC. And as you guys already know, on Varsity Chatroom, we feature all things university, all things tertiary institutions. So she's going to be telling us a lot more about NIMC today. So welcome, Miss Wendy. Thank you for having me in studio, Desiree. No, we are glad to have you here today. So you're going to be telling us a lot more about NIMC. Yes. So when when did when did this unit when when did when did this institution start like when was it first founded how did it come about so nic was established in 2020 mm -hmm. last year yeah last year 20 let's <laughs> <laughs> go uh, nic was, okay so um nic was mm -hmm. established last year 20 <laughs> NIMC was established mm -hmm. in February 2020, mm -hmm. and it started off as a short course. We started on a short course basis where mm -hmm. we just offered business classes, HR mm -hmm. related courses, and what is the other one? Um, uh, information technology, but it was just strictly on short course basis. Uh, okay, okay. So this year we established the vocational training. Oh. And yeah, now so we are newly established vocational training institution now full programs full programs yeah. so it's not only short, short courses, courses anymore we offer full, full term programs as well okay yeah. is um nimc accredited by the nta nimc at the moment right mm -hmm. now we are in the process for that okay yeah, but we are sticking to the relevant what is this relevant roots of nta uh -huh. we're following the relevant roots of nta okay and uh, um, what are the qualifications one can get from studying there? Because, you, like you mentioned, there's short courses, mm -hmm. and then now it's, it's a full vocational training center. Yeah. So what's the highest level of qualification that one can get there? Right now we have, we are offering, we have the full term programs that we are offering mm -hmm. is agriculture that we simply rolled out. Mm -hmm. And we, we rolled out horticulture. In, mm. that, in the agriculture department, we rolled out horticulture. Okay. And you can go to level four with horticulture. Okay. And then we have occupational health and safety, which goes to level five. Oh, and all those right. Those are all full term programs, but we also sh offer short courses in those departments as mm. well. Okay. Yes. Okay, you mentioned about short, you mentioned short courses. Short courses yes. So, what I want to know is if a student wanted to enroll at NIMC, mm -hmm. why should they enroll there instead of? enrolling themselves in on, on a short course on the internet because you know how easy it is these days yeah. to get a short course on the internet mm -hmm. so what is the advantage you know of them enrolling at your institution in comparison to some internet 
short course, you know, website. Yeah. First and foremost, I would like to allude to the fact that NINC mm -hmm. is created is, was created by Namibians for Namibians. Okay. We are local, and also we are very accessible. Mm -hmm. So if we are local and accessible, why would why would you want to? Um, how should I put this? Why would you want to not waste your time but be on your computer mm -hmm. instead of coming to us full time because we are hands on practical? Okay. Okay, so um, what are the minimum requirements to be able to enroll at NIMC? With NIMC, uh, minim our minimum requirements is uh, grade 10. Minimum okay. is grade 10. And for the new curriculum, mm -hmm. uh, grade 11s are more than welcome. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just a grade 10 certificate and just be able to speak English and write. English. Okay, I feel yeah. like that is the yeah. bare minimum. Mm -hmm. It's quite doable mm -hmm. okay so one thing i also wanted to know was cost wise what are the ranges you know is it affordable for like the average person mm -hmm. you know who's coming out of grade 10 or who maybe has now like the minimum requirements came mm -hmm. out of grade 10 is, is is it affordable um we at nic we pride ourselves as affordable mm -hmm. and accessible okay yes so we're very affordable. Anyone can afford us. Like the re like registration fees mm -hmm. for the full program is like a thousand dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, it's just a thousand dollars, and application form we charge fifty dollars for the application form, and then the rest of the courses we just have like different prices for the different courses as well. Okay. Yeah, but we are very, very affordable and accessible. That's that's amazing. Yeah. That's great because it's not a lot that you come across like yeah. um, high level institutions where you can have these kind of you know prices or things at those prices. Even just getting an application form usually goes above hundred dollars. You know, it's it's a lot. So I'm glad that you know it's Namibian, you know, and it's affordable. It's affordable. Yeah, and accessible. And accessible. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget accessible. Yeah. So I think. That's, I think that's about it for today's interview. Thank you so much. I hope that you guys have gotten all the information that you want about NIMC. And if you want more information, you can definitely, you have social media? Yes, we have uh, social media. You can find us on Instagram at nimc.institute. And on Facebook, it's NIMC Institute. And then you can probably email us at, uh, you can find us on our website uh na or you can email us at nimc no wait mm -hmm. you can continue <laughs> you can email us at info at nimc .na. okay there you have it guys so like i said again thank you yeah. once again for joining me here in studio mm -hmm. And I hope to see you here again of after course. a few months. I'll be a regular now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that's it on today's episode of Varsity Chat Room. See you guys again next week, same time, same place. I hope you guys had a lot of fun like I did. So catch us next week again, same time, same place, and different outfit and different presenter. So. And to stay tuned, we will be covering the Desert Festival this week, the Bugo Desert Festival. So have a look at all our Facebook pages of Namibia Media Holdings to find the link where this will be broadcasted on our Instagram, the social media pages of my zone. You guys can have a look at what's happening there, have the highlights at your fingertips as well. So we will see you guys next time. Stay safe. <laughs>